So usually when I make a high level mechanic tutorial, I don't know exactly how to do the mechanic and I have to learn it and then I detail the process in a tutorial where I talk about everything I found hard and everything that is really, really important to perform the shot, all the micro details. But this time I already did kind of know how to do it. So that's kind of why it took so long. But I guess five months is a little too long. You know what? It's here. So um, I didn't lie, at least. I, it's here. So yeah. Anyway, ho hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the video. Step number one, as usual, taking the ball towards the wall. So you want to get the ball rolling at fast but controllable speed towards the wall, something just below supersonic. And you want to hit the ball as it's past the curve, as if you hit it on the curve, the ball will stick to the wall and you won't be able to get it off very easily. So to do this, you want to brake just as it reaches the curve, or you want to take your foot off the gas and let it roll up the wall, then you go and follow it. Another advantage of doing that is that there's less chance of you hitting the ball too hard, so it is less likely to lose control by hitting into the ceiling or too far, but it is still possible. So I would just take a little bit of care, but of course that comes with a lot of practice. Now we are going to talk about getting the ball from the wall. Now I see most of you will know how to air dribble and if you don't you should probably go and learn that first. But it's essentially that hit. So what you want to do is hit the ball at this angle under it and hit it as close to the ceiling as possible without touching the ceiling so it gets a good height on the ball that you can follow up. So we've talked about getting the ball from the wall, let's talk about getting our car from the wall. So to get any kind of reset, we need to create a bit of distance between ourselves and the ball because if you don't create that distance, you will not be able to get the rotation needed to perform a reset and you will just hit the ball in a weird way if you're too close. So you need to create a bit of distance and there are two ways to do that. So one is you break just as you hit the ball to create that distance and then you jump and you follow the ball, get the reset. The second way is to slow down by just not accelerating as much. So to do this, all you have to do is after you've touched the ball, jump and don't boost off the wall immediately. That will create you a bit of distance and then you start boosting towards the ball. Both techniques yield the same results. I think breaking, I don't know why, but I feel like that's a tiny bit more efficient just because you're slowing down a bit more. And with this method, you're just not boosting. Maybe it's the same, I'm not really sure. But either way, it gets the same result. So whichever one you want to do. I do think breaking does give you a bit more distance. So maybe if you're more comfortable with a bit more distance and you're not used to not, you know, this short distance from not breaking, um, that's something you could do. So yeah, experiment with it, see which one you prefer. And yeah, let's get right into the next segment, which will be getting the reset. So now we are making our way to the ball after the last step to get the reset. Now the air rolling I do towards the ball, the kind of freestyling stuff I do just to get the reset, is definitely not necessary. Someone did ask me in the comments if they need to know how to do that, and honestly you don't. All you need to make sure is that you can make your four wheels touch the ball by air rolling. All you need to do is the air rolling for the necessary parts, you can do everything just being on your back. So just air roll so your wheels are in position to make contact with the ball, and that's all you need to do. Now we will look at how high we can get on the ball with our reset and still be able to perform the shot. So this example is the max height we want to get. If we cut the ball in half horizontally, the back wheels just come above the area we cut. Any higher than this will be too high and the ball will be falling too fast for us to perform the shot. So in this example, you can see we shoot downwards because we are too high on the ball. So if you need to shoot downwards, go for a high reset. In this next example, this is the lowest you want to get on the ball for the reset. Any lower than this and you'll be falling faster than the ball and you won't be able to perform a good shot. The back wheels come just below the midline which allows us to perform a higher musty flick. Yeah, so if you want to go for a shot that goes downwards, go for the high reset. If you want to go for a shot that goes high and upwards, go for the lower reset and that should allow you to do that. Just remember to not go too much higher than what I've told you and too much lower and that should hold you in good stead. Now let's look at exactly how to position yourself just before that contact and just after it to get into the perfect position to perform the musty flick. So to get into the perfect position to perform the musty flick after the reset, we have to be in the perfect position before the reset. And the first thing we have to understand is that the perfect position after the reset is to be directly behind the ball facing the goal. To get into this perfect position, we really have to pay attention to the direction of the ball. If we know the direction, we know where we have to go to get behind it. 
so we have to aim our reset to the back side of the ball. From our perspective, as we come off the wall, this is the right hand side of the ball. So if we can get a reset on the right hand side of the ball, that should put us behind the ball in line with the goal, the perfect position. So now let's get into the final step, which is hitting the musty flick. So this is going to be the easiest step of them all because you have prepared everything so perfectly. All you have to do after the reset is air roll right side up. Maybe adjust a little left or right. Then rotate 180 degrees vertically then backflip to perform the musty. And that's basically it. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'll leave in some clips of me scoring some musties so you guys can watch through a few examples. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.